Hi, thanks for joining me today. It's Geraldine from the Paper Puffin Studio, and today's project is a double pop-up card. It was inspired by UK paper crafter Sam Calcott. So here we go. I'll just show you how it works, and when you open it, how you get a double pop-up. I've placed on the back a piece of white cardstock so that a person could write a message here. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Let's review all of the pieces that you're going to need in order to build this card. You're going to need a piece of cardstock for your base at five and a half inches by eight and a half inches. For the front, you're going to need a piece of black, three and a quarter inch by four and a quarter inch. A piece of pink, that is three and one eighth inch by four and one eighth inch. And a piece of white, that is three inches by four inches. For the pop-up on the inside, you're gonna need two pieces of your base color cut at four and a half inches by two and a half inches. You're gonna need four pieces of white cut at two and an eighth inch by two and three eighths of an inch. For your designer series paper, you're going to need three pieces of that, and those are cut at five and three eighth inches by four and one eighth of an inch. And then for your mechanisms, you're gonna need four pieces of cardstock cut at two inches by two and a half inches. Now we're ready to do some of the scoring. So I'm going to take the base piece of cardstock and I'm going to score it right down the middle at four and a quarter inches. I'm going to take the two pieces that will act as the pop-up pieces on the inside and I'm going to score those directly down the middle as well at two and a quarter inch. And now for the scoring of the mechanism pieces, I'm going to take the short end and place it at the top of the trimmer, lining it up at one inch because I want to score each one of these directly down the middle at one inch. Now all the scoring is done, so I'm going to go ahead and start doing some stamping. I'm using the Darling Donkey set, so I'm going to be stamping these four pieces that will appear on the pop-up. I'll get those ready for the inside of the card, and then I'll stamp the image that I want to use on the front of the card. I'll go ahead and do all that and pick up there. I've gone ahead and added the designer series paper to the front flap of the card. I've stamped the image that I want to use on the front and attached all the pieces for this image. It's going to get placed on here with dimensionals once the card is pretty much finished. And I'm going to be using this little celebrate every moment label and that is going to get attached with dimensionals and I'll embellish it with some of these enamel dots as well. The images for the inside also have been prepared. So I've prepared the donkey images and the hee-haw and hi there friend. I'm going to assemble those on the inside pop-up pieces. So I'm going to burnish this fold and place these images in here. I'll burnish here and I'll also burnish the card itself. Now 
Now that I've attached all of the images for the inside of the card, I also have attached the designer series paper on the inside of the card. And just to show you, I've got a piece of designer series paper on the front and two pieces of the same color on the inside. These two pieces are going to end up sitting in here, much like this, but I need to prepare the mechanisms next. Now remember that we cut four of these pieces, we scored them each at one each inch, right down the center. So now I'm going to need my ruler because I'm going to need to make some markings on these pieces. Now I'll show you how I'll make these pencil markings. Remember I have the one inch score line down the center. Now I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to line it up with the edge of the paper and I'm going to mark one inch and one and a half inches. Then I'm going to flip the paper around and mark again one inch and one and a half inches. I'm then going to line up each of those marks and draw a line across the paper. I'm going to do that fairly lightly because I want to be able to erase these lines after. These are just going to be lines that will help to guide me when I go to the next step. I'll go ahead and do that and then pick up there. Now I'm ready to start the scoring for each of these pieces. I've drawn in a pencil line here to here, here to here, here to here, and here to here. So you can see those are the places where I'm going to be doing the scoring. There's going to be four places to score and then once I've got those scores done, I'll erase all of these lines. I won't draw in all the lines that are the score lines on these because I can already tell where they're going to go. I'll use this as the template. So I'll go ahead and start with the scoring and I'll speed this part up for you. Now I've gone ahead and done all of the scoring on all of these pieces and erased the pencil lines. Now we're ready to burnish the different score lines that we've made. I'll start by burnishing and folding right down the middle on each one of the four pieces. Now I need to work on these pieces which are angled. So I'm going to be folding upwards on these front pieces and I'll go ahead and do that for each one. So you can see I have that done now for each one of those pieces. Now we're going to deal with the score lines on the other end. So how we do that is we'll fold the piece like this. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to, this piece here is going to get helped along and we're going to fold it inwards. Then I'll give it a good burnish and that's one of the pieces. I'll show you that again. So I have the flaps folded up and I'm going to be folding inward now to make mountain folds essentially like that. 
and I'll just keep doing that. Helping along the paper at the first part, lining it up, and burnishing. Now let's go through how to attach all of these pieces to the pop-up portions of your card. I've decided that this piece is going to be the piece that I'll put at the top and this will be the piece for the bottom. And how you attach these mechanisms is important in terms of whether the piece is on the top or on the bottom. So we'll go through the top piece first. I'll go ahead and fold the piece over and I'm going to take the pieces that I've now scored and these are going to get attached like so to this piece of cardstock. I'm going to be attaching them like this. They're just a little bit down from the bottom and a, about a quarter of an inch away from each other. And notice that the flaps are here and the piece that is going to get attached looks like this. I'm going to be placing glue here and here and lining this up and then again the glue will go on the inside here and here and then I'll line this up. I'll go ahead and do that. Now for the bottom portion that will be the pop-up piece Note the difference in the way you attach the mechanisms. Note the point here. So the points were here and here to be attached on the top and then flipped around, I have the points at the bottom here and the flaps are like this. I'll again put the glue on the inside here and I'll line up my mechanisms so that they're at 90 degrees and a little bit of far, far apart, about a quarter of an inch from each other. I'll go ahead and do that. Now we're ready to attach these pop-up pieces to the base of the card. How we'll do that is I'll be placing glue on these flaps here. I'll then line up the piece with the top of the designer series paper and then I'll make sure that these points are just over to the side away from the score line. I don't want them on the score line because that will cause buckling of the paper. I'll attach the first one and then I'll go through the important uh, points about attaching this bottom one. Now for attaching this piece to the bottom, you want to make sure first that it's oriented the way you want it to be. And then you're going to place glue on these inside flaps here. And watch like when you're attaching this bottom piece, make sure that you raise it up a little bit from the bottom, about a quarter of an inch. This will allow you to have this card stand up for display once we're done. I went ahead and glued on the flaps and you can see that this one will end up moving like this and this one like so. At this point I'm going to go ahead and put glue on all of these flaps that are exposed and close the card. I'll also end up putting something on the card that is weighted so that I'll get good um, connection between the glue and the paper. Now to show you the finished card. So I've gone ahead and attached the front image with a little message and some embellishments. And on the inside, you can see that this is how the card looks, how it works. And then on the back, I placed this piece of cardstock so that a person could write a message. I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.